Hey, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. First time, welcome. What I want to cover today is the Jim Shockey Trigger Stick from Primo's Gen 3. Now, you might be thinking, why would I need this? Trust me, if you hunt, you want this. You need this. This thing is awesome. It has three legs, and they go out about like this, okay, without doing anything. You've got your trigger right here, and when you pull that, they go down. And all you gotta do is let go of the trigger, and you have a solid, a solid shooting platform. This twists on top, and it also twists here. Now what's really cool about this is if I'm on uneven ground, they go, let's back up here. Can you still see me over here? You can move it around and when you let go of the trigger, it stays. So I can move it this way. That leg goes farther out and it stays here. So we'll go on a hill here and I'll show you, but it's the trigger. To take it all back in, you simply pull the trigger and they all go down. Now this thing up here, it spins. We've got a little button right here, okay? Nothing happens because we've got a lock on this side. We put the lock down, we push this in, and this comes off. Now, what we can So that comes off, and then we've got an attachment piece. I pull the trigger, sorry, push this in, and this goes on, and I got a camera base. I, th this thing is actually kind of sticky because I blasted a watermelon. I took this off and I set my GoPro on it, okay? So let's put this back on. And this spins. Okay, now why would I need this? I got a steel target over there at 300, okay? This may not be the easiest thing to carry out in the field when you're hunting, but uh, you know, deer hunting, predator hunting, you don't need a blind, you've got basically a shooting bench. Okay, so let's, let's try this, let's drop her down. And we can turn these, and I'll show you when I sit. We turn these, and then this can go all the way out. So you can get really wide and really stable. Otherwise, it goes just a little bit, but that's actually not too bad here. This kind of big, heavy rifle, this is often what I take predator hunting. Uh, because I can sling it, but it's a tack driver. Okay, so I get it up here and that, I set this on here. It's a little high. All I got to do is squeeze this trigger a little bit and it drops down. Now that went too low. Easy enough. Pull the trigger, pull it up to where I want, let go of the trigger, and it holds it exactly where I want it. Now I'm gonna admit, standing's kind of hard to hold it still, so let's try sitting. Okay, sitting's gonna be a lot more solid. Now, obviously here it's way too high. I pull the trigger, it just slides down, and again, uneven ground is not a problem. I get it right where I want it, and then I simply let go of the trigger. That's pretty awesome. Now, another one that's my favorite for predator hunting is sitting on the ground so I'm not toting this around. Let me show you. Okay, so here's a Coleman. It's like a stadium seat, but I use this for predator hunting. This thing's awesome. I've got it on my Amazon store. It's cheap. It's way better than the hunting ones that I found. And here's the thing. It's black, you know, but everybody thinks you got to get one camo. You're sitting in it. You can't see it. It doesn't matter. It could be pink and unless they're coming up from behind you, it ain't going to make any difference. This thing's comfy. OK, 
Okay, this is my favorite chair for predator hunting. Now, if this is too low, I spread out the base. Nice thing is, I pull the trigger and it brings it up. It doesn't matter. I'm on terribly uneven ground, but this thing works awesome. Gonna try here at 100, that'll be a piece of cake. No sweat. Let's try 300. Except, wow, that ain't working. So, turn, pull the trigger, move it around, look at that. Gets us right where we wanna go. I'm gonna move my chair. Pull the trigger. Get it where I want. Nice thing with having this stick is I don't need a blind. I can just go sit somewhere. I'm not dressed up in camo, but if I were sitting here in camo in the fall, sitting in a field, I got a great shooting platform. That's 300 yards. Well, most of us aren't taking shots out that far. Here's 100 yards. I quick move the stick, make some quick adjustments. And boom. So again, on a hill, no problem. Just go out, drop them down, and it totally you can just move this however you want and let go and it adjusts. This thing is awesome. I'm gonna give you a quick little bonus. This is a Coleman, it's a stadium chair, okay? It rolls up, this thing is great for hunting. It's awesome, it's black, it's durable, it's cheap, okay? It rolls up. Make it like this. We roll it up. So you roll it up, it's got Velcro straps. One goes around the top, like so. Wraps around nice and neat. And we do it up here. And voila. It's got a carry strap. Get it out of the way and away you go. I've tried a lot of different hunting chairs, hunting seats. This is the best. It's less than 20 bucks. I've had it for years. It's heavy duty. So there you go. This is the Trigger Stick by Primos Jim Shockey Gen 3. This thing is awesome. If you're a hunter, you gotta get one. It's a little pricey, you're gonna get one and that's it. You're not gonna ever need to get one again. Why get a monopod when you can get this? Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I've got this on our Amazon store. I got the links on my page. If you haven't visited my webpage, you need to check us out. You need to check us out on Facebook. Until next time, happy shooting, happy hunting, although not the season, and be safe.